What's going on my fellow elegant savages? In today's video, we'll be discussing different pull-up progressions to get you to your first pull-up. Stay tuned. So the first thing you want to start training before you try and get your first pull-up is grip strength. Now this is commonly overlooked, but the better your grip strength is, the longer you'll be able to hold on to the bar and the better your pull-ups will be in the long run. Now some simple exercises you can start doing to train your grip strength would be dead hanging from the bar with both hands. Once you get that, try dead hanging with one arm alternating between each hand. And once you get that, try dead hanging from the bar with just one hand as long as you can. Once you've mastered these progressions, try to make the exercise harder by adding a towel to the bar to make the bar thicker. And then from there, try it on some gymnastic rings. Just keep switching it up so that your grip strength becomes stronger and stronger no matter what piece of equipment you're using. And also, most importantly, as I stated in the previous video, make sure you're activating your scapula at all times. Throw in some scapula shrugs with your dead hangs to really activate that muscle-mind connection that you need with your back. Now, the second progression is known as the Australian pull-up, also known as inverted rows. The beginner variation of this exercise is performed by having your knees bent, either closed or separated. From there, you want to pull your chest to the bar by retracting your scapulas. You should pull your chest to the bar to about the nipple line of your chest. As you get stronger, you will be able to straighten your legs out in front of you. From there, you can make the exercise more challenging by changing up the grip of your hands by going from a pronated grip to a supinated grip, or going from a shoulder width grip to a close grip or even a wide grip. No matter which variation you choose, you never want to just fall in your joints. You want to control your body throughout the entire movement and really build up that pound for pound strength. Now I know some of you all are wondering, Tamar, how am I going to perform this move? I don't have the Libre Equalizer System bars. And honestly, that's the beauty of calisthenics. This exercise can be performed with a towel and a pole, a table at your house, or even the Smith machine at the gym. So there's really no excuses. If you need any help on these variations, you need me to explain anything further, leave a comment down below. Now let's move into the third progression, supported pull-ups. And one of the best ways to support your pull-ups is using resistance bands. Resistance bands are essential because they allow you to train the full ROM for the movement. This helps build up your confidence mentally and it also allows your body to ease into the new workload that this movement will require. If you do not have resistance bands, this progression can be performed by putting your legs up on a bench in front of you and doing pull-ups on a Smith machine. Finally, the last progression we'll be going over today for pull-ups is negatives and isometric holds. Negatives are performed by training the eccentric part of the movement as slow as you possibly can. With time, you should get slower and slower with the movement and this will help build up the strength necessary to get your pull up. Now the isometric hold for this movement is performed by holding your chin above the bar for as long as you possibly can. Both of these progressions increase your time and attention which will give you the gains necessary, of course, to get your first pull up. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. You all now have all the tools that you need to get your very first pull up. If you still need more information, you wanna get in the best shape of your life using only your body weight, check out elegantsavagery.com for custom meal plans and custom workout plans. I'll catch you on the next video. Same time next week.